Welcome back to the thrilling journey of Hyakamaru slaying demons to regain his senses. Starting off episode 7, Hyakamaru and Dororo come across the female spider-like demon, Jorogumo, who has captured a man. Hyakimaru attacks the demon and wounds her, but she escapes. The travelers enter a nearby village, which has a problem with men disappearing at night. The next day, the kindly Yajiro heads out on a trail and finds the ailing demon, who appears in the form of a beautiful woman. He takes her home, and after feeding her some ohagi, gives her the name Ohagi and leaves for work at the lord's quarry. Although she is hungry, Ohagi resists eating Yajiro because of his kind nature. Yajiro offers to guide the ailing Ohagi out of the village, and it is revealed local men have not been captured or killed, but that Yajiro has been helping them flee from the oppressive local lord. Yajiro and Ohagi encounter Hyakimaru, who attacks Ohagi, but she escapes with Yajiro. Yajiro takes Ohagi to a secret passage in the mountain. However, they are attacked by the lord's troops, and Yajiro is wounded. Enraged, Ohagi attacks and defeats the troops, but this attracts Hyakimaru to her. As Hyakimaru and Ohagi prepare to fight to the death, she worries about Yajiro and the red demon color of her soul fades, so Hyakimaru withdraws and lets her leave with Yajiro. A dark cloud containing the demon Nokosaregumu appears over a village, and the villagers hurriedly prepare a woman as a sacrificial bride to appease it. As Hyakamaru and Dororo see the bridal parade traveling up the mountain, Saru, a wild boy, tries to stop the sacrifice. After Saru tells them the story of Nokusare Gumo and that he considers the sacrifice his sister, Dororo and Hyakamaru agree to exterminate the demon. A dark cloud envelops them, and Nokosare Gumo appears as a large centipede. However, Hyakamaru is unable to differentiate the demon from the cloud as they both show red to his vision, and it swallows the woman. Dororo and Saru devise a plan to create an explosion using the sulfurous gases emitted by the mountain, which sets the demon ablaze but has little effect. Dororo then jumps on Nokosare Gumo's head and calls to Hyakemaru, enabling him to locate and attack the centipede by sound, destroying it. The dark cloud dissipates, and Hyakemaru, Dororo, and the woman, who is still alive from being swallowed whole, fall into a spring. Saru is relieved to find his sister and agrees to move into the village with her. Hyakemaru regains his sense of smell and, for the first time, addresses Dororo by name. Before we continue, take a moment to answer the question of the day. Who is the greatest anime protagonist of all time, and why? Comment down below for a chance to be shouted out. Now, back to the recap. Dororo falls ill with fever, and Hyakamaru takes him to a temple for treatment. Delirious, Dororo sees some blood red red spider like lily flowers, and it triggers memories of the past with his mother, Ojiya, and his father, Hibukuro. Hibukuro was the principal leader of a group of bandits, composed of former farmers, which regularly raided samurai as retribution for their loss and suffering. One day, Itachi, his second-in-command, suggested that they raid a battle-weary group of Yanagimoto, but it was a trap set by Itachi, who had decided it would be more profitable to work for a samurai lord. He took Hibukuro's surviving men and crippled Hibukuro's legs. The family were left to raid bodies on the battlefield for supplies, where Hibukuro said the color of red spider lilies may come from those who died in battle. One day, they encounter a group of samurai burning down a village. Hibukuro is recognized and ultimately killed after a fierce fight. Dororo and Ojiya survive by foraging for food, but Ojiya eventually dies of starvation in a field of red spider lilies. Back in the present, Dororo recovers, but the priestess reveals to Hyakumaru Dororo is actually female, calling Dororo young girl after removing her clothes to wash them. Meanwhile, Kagemitsu Daigo is told Hyakumaru may be alive from a survivor of the attack on Mio's camp. Bakemonogani, a crab-like monster, devours a man after destroying his boat. Meanwhile, the drought in the Daigo lands worsens, and Lord Kagemitsu is advised of the Asakura clan gathering on their border. 
he visits the temple and finds more demon statues destroyed, and the demons inform him Hyakamaru is still alive and slowly retrieving the stolen pieces of his body. Kagemitsu's son, Tahomaru, discovers his father is searching for a baby. Later, Tahomaru and his two bodyguards, Mutsu and Hyogo, encounter a village where they speak of a monster in the lake which eats fishermen. He leads a group of villagers in their boats onto the lake and attacks and damages the monster, but it is too fierce and they are forced to retreat. Tahomaru then has the villagers construct a trap, intending to lure the monster into a shallow channel where the water can be drained out. The plan works, and Tahomaru, Mutsu, and Hyogo attack it together. However, the monster fights back and almost devours Hyogo, but at the last minute, Hyakumaru arrives and slays it. Tahomaru is left wondering who the stranger is. Tahomaru learns Hyakumaru's name as the two travelers arrive in the Daigo capital. There, they see a play depicting Kagemitsu Daigo as a great slayer of demons protected by the goddess of mercy. The Biwahoshi seeks the truth at the Hall of Hell, while Hyakumaru and Dororo visit the remnants of Fort Benmon. It was built by Daigo on the site of a village he destroyed and is supposedly cursed by a demon. They find remnants of a timber wall where Asakura pin bodies of their enemies with arrows. They encounter a young boy, Sukeroku, who wishes to cross to the Asakura side and rejoin his family. Meanwhile, Tahomaru's bodyguards report the incident with Hyakamaru to Kagemitsu Daigo, who realizes his son is alive and decides to kill him and maintain the prosperity of his domain, ignoring his wife's pleas. Tahomaru overhears their exchange and later comes across a demented woman who was present at Hyakamaru's birth. She tells him how the demons ate everything but left the boy alive. Night falls at Benmon and a Kyubi no Kitsune, nine-tailed fox demon, appears. While it attacks Hyakumaru, Sukeroku uses the distraction to pass the wall with Dororo in pursuit. However, they are captured by Asakura sentries. The demon is eventually chased off by the arrows of a squadron led by Kagemitsu Daigo himself, who then approaches Hyakumaru. Hyakumaru does not recognize his father and is confused when he sees demonic red in Kagemitsu Daigo's soul. Kagemitsu orders his archers to fire at Hyakumaru, who flees. Meanwhile, Dororo and Sukeroku are held in an Asakura prison with other Daigo prisoners, but Dororo manages to escape. In the Kagemitsu compound, Tahomaru confronts Nui no Kata about his brother's fate, but Kagemitsu explains the bargain he made with the demons to save their land. Hyakimaru appears and is seen by Nui no Kata and Tahomaru, but Kagemitsu orders him killed. Tahomaru is horrified, but Kagemitsu asks Tahomaru if he would be willing to sacrifice the land to save his brother. The Asakura start to kill their prisoners at the Benmon to provoke a war and the Daigo army charges forward, attracting the fox demon. Lord Kagemitsu arrives with his army and Taomaru, who has reluctantly accepted his father's decision and attacks Hyakumaru. Hyakumaru breaks Tahomaru's sword and damages his right eye, then kills the demon which is sucked into the Benmon. Nui no Kata arrives and begs forgiveness for her complicity in Kagemitsu's bargain. She then stabs herself and her sacrifice causes her goddess of mercy statue to collapse the Banmon. Survivors of the Sukeroku's village arrive and Sukeroku is reunited with his mother. The Biwahoshi picks up Nui no Kata's small, headless wooden statue of the goddess of mercy, which sacrificed its own head at Hyakumaru's birth so the child would not lose his head in his father's bargain with the demons, and its gentle green aura fades. What will happen next? Find out on our next recap of Dororo.